each and every one. The cultural practices that we are going to present is about tuba as native beverage of every Filipino. Tuba is created from the sap of various species of palm trees. Tuba has existed in the Philippines since pre-colonial times. They are widely consumed for recreation as well as play an important role in the animist religious rituals. Then social drinking was continuous to be an important aspect of Filipino. But the question is, have you ever tasted tuba, the Filipino native beverage? When freshly gathered, Tuba is milky white in color and tastes sweet and effervescent, which continuously producing tiny bubbles creating a cream-colored fruit. This freshly gathered tuba with no tumu in it is said to be good. And here are the process in making tuba. First, the making of tuba starts with someone called the mananangga. In other words, he is a tuba gatherer and he climbs up in a coconut tree in hopes of finding a newly sprouting coconut flower still encased in a green pad known as the takong. And second, the bud of the coconut fruit is cut off using a scythe so that the sap can seep out of the bud. The stalk is then pushed down so that it would be easier to collect the gripping juice. And lastly, the tip is then put into the container and fastened with a coconut shell and tightened with a strip of rattan. And this is done so that no rainwater can contaminate the collected sap. Sometimes, straw string and plastic cellophane may do instead of shell and rattan. I will introduce to you the materials needed in gathering tuba and its uses. First is the sugong. Sugong is a bamboo tube which is being attached and inserted to the wounded tip of the bud. Other mananangot are using plastic bottles instead of sugong. The second one is tungog. Tungog is a dried bark of a particular species of mangrove tree that could give tuba its maroon orange color and a better taste. The third one is ginit or the coconut shed. It is wrapped over the sugong or the plastic bottle to keep out rainwater and flies. The fourth is the scythe or the sangot. It is a razor sharp knife used to sever the tip of a coconut flower stem. The fifth is the strip of rattan. It is used to fasten and tighten the coconut shed. The sixth is the strainer or what they call the salaan. It is used to prevent the penetration of dirt. And the last one is the funnel, or what they call the imbudo. It is used for guiding the tuba into a small opening. Let us know more how tuba can provide to us and how it helps some Filipino. Barangay Quezon, San Carlos City, Negros Occidental is the place where you can find people enjoying their life living with panangot as one of their source of income. Some of them have their children finished in school by sustaining from the income of tuba. Some built their houses and some had their wants. Just like one of the residents of Barangay Quezon named Mitoy, 55 years old and almost 30 years as a mananango. Every market day, he went to the market and sell his gathered tuba. He has the total of 8 pieces of coconut tree that he maintained to have tuba, four of them owned and four of them rented. Since every coconut tree only provides a maximum of half gallon every day, he can save four gallons every day and sell it. The cost of tuba is also moving up and as of now, one gallon is equals to 60 pesos, one half gallon is equals to 30 pesos, one garapon is equals to 10 pesos and one cup is equals to 5 pesos. Here is the video on how he managed his life as a mananangot. Watch this.
that video shows a brief process of making tuba. And now, let us discuss on how he earned his profit and how he gave his share. At the end of the week, he can gather with a maximum total of 28 gallons of tuba, but depending on the weather. Because he rented 4 out of 8 coconut trees, at the end of the week, he will give his share to the owner. And his share will be 1 over 7 of the total amount of how many he gathered. For example, if he can gather 28 gallons in a week, he can earn 1,680 pesos. But since he rented only 4 coconut trees, 1,680 pesos will be divided by 2. And 840 pesos was the profit of his rented tree. And we divide 840 pesos with 7 as the total amount of share and 120 pesos will be the owner shared within a week. And conclusion about our topic tuba as a traditional Filipino beverage. Tuba is not only for drinking but it has different usages in many aspects. When tuba undergo fermentation it became a vinegar and the distilled vinegar it was called as lambanog that served as the main ingredient in cooking variety of dishes. Some people the freshly gathered tuba they mix it with an egg and they enjoy drinking it. For them tuba with egg or quinotel in Cebuano's term is have a good taste. The freshly gathered tuba or coconut sap had an average alcohol content of 3.7 percent by volume an average total titratable acidity of 1.62 mol HCI per 100 ml tuba and an average of pH of 4.7. According to www.healthline.com, tuba have a five benefits. First, contains probiotics, polyphenols, and nutrients. Second, may low blood sugar and have fight diabetes. Third, may reduce hunger and help you lose weight. Fourth, may improve heart health. Five, may improve digestion and immunity. Therefore, tuba is a part of Filipino cultural practices. We use it many ways in cooking and different festivities and celebration and it have a great impact of economic progress to many Filipinos. It was good in terms of our health and it also used in many medical treatments. Tuba plays a significant role in the culture of the Philippines. It makes the Filipinos celebrations, occasions, and festivities more enjoyable. It helps for the provision of their financial needs and also it is beneficial in terms of their health. Tuba shows the Filipinos industriousness through climbing the coconut tree every day, even it is difficult of their part. More Filipinos have a habit in laughing with friends and families, or even with strangers, but it is more fun if there is tuba in front of them as they get along with. Therefore, tuba helps to maintain a good relationship with others.